Hi AU, I'm Emma Nowicki, one of the intern clinicians from the Counseling Center. Let's talk about test anxiety. Whether you're watching this video during finals or preparing for a mid-semester exam, I'm hoping to help you better understand the nature of test anxiety and give you tips to perform your best on the exam. First, let's understand the symptoms and causes of test anxiety. Test anxiety is when you experience intense nervousness before or during an exam. It is not indicative of how intelligent you are or how well you know the material. There's a range of symptoms associated with test anxiety, including headache, nausea, excessive sweating, shortness of breath, rapid heart rate, difficulty concentrating, and feeling helpless. These symptoms are rooted in your body's biological fight or flight response. Your mind likely perceives an upcoming exam as a threat, which initiates your stress hormones. Experiencing a small amount of anxiety about a test is actually useful because it enhances your performance by increasing your attention. However, if the anxiety is too intense, it may hinder your performance. There are other factors that may contribute to your test anxiety. If you've had negative past experiences with exams, you may have a negative mindset about your ability to perform on exams. If your self-worth is tied to the outcome of the test, you may have a fear of failure. If you waited until the last minute to study, your anxiety likely comes from a lack of preparation. Now that we've discussed what test anxiety is, let's talk about ways to manage test anxiety. My first tip for you is to understand the connection between our minds and our bodies. Your overall emotional and physical well-being are impacted by your sleep and nutrition. In particular, lack of sleep can negatively impact your test performance. Research shows that lack of sleep negatively impacts your ability to reason, organize, and problem solve. In general, research shows you are better off getting a good night's sleep the night before an exam to help you consolidate your memory, rather than cramming to learn the information the night before. Additionally, consuming caffeine before an exam will likely mimic or increase anxiety symptoms. Caffeine is a stimulant, so it increases your heart rate and may make you feel shaky. A second tip for managing test anxiety is to incorporate positive self-talk by challenging negative thoughts. Self-defeating thoughts are not helpful to your performance as they likely make you feel guilty or like you've already failed. Instead, replace self-critical thoughts with thoughts that promote self-confidence. For example, after thinking something critical like, I should have studied more, you can say something positive to yourself like, I did my best to prepare for this test. By changing your self-critical thoughts into self-confidence ones, you can reduce your anxiety. It is also important to be reasonable and realistic in the expectations you set for yourself and your understanding of how important the test is. The most reasonable expectation for an exam is to try your best to show as much of what you know as you can. Even though one test may feel important, try not to overinflate its actual significance. Remind yourself that this is only one exam. One test is not a reflection of your self-worth, and one test does not predict your future success. Another tip is that you can use relaxation strategies to release tension throughout your body and focus your attention. These techniques are effective for reducing physiological responses to stress. Deep breathing is a technique that you can use anywhere, including during an exam. You can breathe in for a count of four, hold it for four, and breathe out for four. After repeating this several times, you should notice your body relaxing. My last tip for you is to be kind to yourself after the exam. You can reward yourself for all of your hard work. You may find yourself dwelling on the mistakes you made. Instead, try to reflect on what you did well. Also, make sure to take some time to relax before focusing on your next task. Hopefully this video helped you understand test anxiety more and gave you some ideas for ways you can cope. Check out the American University Counseling Center website for more information about our services and mental health resources. Good luck on your exams, AU.